Hello guys, welcome to the OPL assignment video series. Today we will discuss the next assignment of group B that is selection sort using function template. So first of all we will see what is selection sort how it is working. So selection sort is just a simple sorting technique in which you are selecting a minimum element. So this is the general diagram of selection sort. So first of all just understand that is if you are having n size array elements or if you are having n size array then you need or you require uh, or selection sort text n minus 1 passes or n minus 1 stays for sorting. So here you can see this is the example of uh, 4 size array, 4 element uh, array. Uh, you, you can see that in step 1 first of all you will compare this first element with your uh, all, all other elements you can see that you'll find your minimum element here so you'll do the swapping here so we'll swap 7 and 2 here so you'll get sorted array 2 and you'll get unsorted array in this way that is 5 4 7 again in step 2 you will compare your next element that is 5 uh, with the other elements so you'll find and you will find your minimum here that is you are you are selecting your minimum element here 4 that is so here again you will swap it and you will get sorted array this way and unsorted array in this way. In step 3 again you will do the comparison if you will find you will search for the minimum element again. So this time you will compare uh, your 5 with the 7. Now you can see that 5 is the minimum so you you have got your minimum element here that is 5. So this time no need to uh, uh, swap it. So you will get sorted array this way and you will get sorted array and finally in the, in the step 4 you will get the only one element that will be your minimum element so that will give you the sorted array so this way the selection sort is working and this logic we have to implement in our program so we will see the algorithm now so in algorithm first of all we will take the size of integer array and then we will take the in integer array elements after that we will sort the array elements using this selection sort algorithm so according to that selection sort algorithm we will first set our ith element as a minimum element first we will consider first element as a minimum then after that we will compare this minimum with the i plus 1th element means we will compare the first element with the rest of the elements there and then we will find out we will find out if it is less than the minimum means if uh, the rest of the elements are uh, uh, are less than the minimum element or if any one element is uh, less than the minimum that is first element then we will set that element as a minimum element and finally we will do the swapping of that minimum means first uh, that element with the i, th I plus one element okay so that we want to do I, I, I the element here so after that we'll show the array elements in ascending and descending order and the same thing we'll do for the float array after this okay so this is about your algorithm now we'll implement this algorithm in our program so i'll open code blocks id now and first of all we'll write down our steps okay we'll write down our steps code for the steps in our main function first of all so first of all i'll declare a variable for size of integer array n so and a variable for size of uh, float array so i'll use s here okay so i'll display here enter the size of integer array okay and then i'll take the input of and here after this i'll declare uh, an integer array so r of n of n size and if for this array to take the input of this array i'll uh, i'll call a function okay so i'll use here get array function so i'll write this get array function for which i'm going to define outside the main function so get array function will i will use for input and uh, to this function i'll pass the array i'll pass the array name array integer array that is r and then i'll pass the size m okay so after this i'll okay so i'll 
display before this i'll display the the elements of integer array this i'll display there okay so then we'll sort the elements okay well so for sorting i'll define a sort array function and for this function again i will pass two parameters that is for my array and its size then after this i'll display c out the sorted integer array this i'll display there okay and and then after this i'll call one function so that function i'm going to define so I'll define i'll call show array okay show array and again i'll pass two parameters to this function okay so th this way i'll do the uh, i'll do the coding okay i'll define my functions so again i will copy and paste the code of this for float array where i'll just write here enter the size of float array then here in place of n i will write s then s and here i'll write flt r okay if i write flt r let me do one thing here okay then i'll i'll again display here enter the elements of float array and the same function i will call here get array for input and i will just write here fltr the array name and then size s then again for sort array i will pass fltr and s parameter again i will display sorted float array okay and then i will call the same function that is show array and fltr parameter and s parameter okay so this we have done in main function now we'll go in outside the main function now okay so here outside the main function outside the main function we will first of all we'll write the template statement okay so we have to define uh, here generic function that is function template we have to use here so for making a function generic or for defining a function template we have to write a template statement here so i will write template keyword then generic type i will use t okay and then i will write the function name that is void get array because i want to define this function for getting input of array so i will write here i will write here dr okay so this name i will use here okay so which will have the generic type t so but so that it will accept any any value here uh, it will accept uh, integer array it will or it will accept float array depending upon, upon the call of this get array function in main then i'll use second parameter that is n or i'll use here size okay size cannot be taken so because of that i'll use n here okay so i'll use here for loop so for loop i'll use i equal to zero i less than n i plus plus okay in this i'll take c in i'll use c in statement and then r of i okay so this way we will take the input of array with the help of get array function that I, I have defined with the help of function template now next function i want to define so before that again i have to use the generic data type and then i have to use the function name so i'll use sort array this function i'll use here okay and this sort array will have again the and then add okay so this two, two parameters it will have and inside this function i'm going to sort the elements of array so before that according to our algorithm i'll do one thing that is i'll consider okay i'll use for loop here 
that is required here okay file file is an n i plus plus okay so here i'll consider i'll declare a minimum uh, i'll declare a, a variable here first of all that is n minimal okay then after that i'll consider the first element that is ith element as a minimal okay and then after this i'll define again for one for loop where i'll access the next element of list or element of my array so uh, j equal to i plus one and then j less than n semicolon j plus plus but remember we need only n minus one step so i'll use here n minus one in my for loop uh, in my for first for loop so in this second for loop i'll do what i'll check if my a of j is less than okay sorry r of j less than r of mini val okay so if it is less than okay then i'll do what i'll set mean val is equal to j okay so that i'll do here okay that according to our diagram we are doing this we are considering first element as a mini valve initially and then whenever we found uh, the lower element that lower element will consider as a mini valve we'll select it here okay now after this outside this we will swap okay so there is a swap library function that we can use here so i'll use swap and then i'll swap my r of r of minival with r of i okay so that we will do here so according to our algorithm we are working here so then the next function we need for uh, to display the array element so i'll again use template statement here i'll use general data type here t and i'll write void show array in show array i'll pass t r r and then int n the same thing i'll do here and in this function i have to display first array in ascending order and then descending order so i'll display first here ascending order okay i'll display this but before this i'll use slasher and then i'll use for loop and i equal to zero i less than n i plus plus okay so here i'll display just i'll use r of i a simple thing and then i'll give the space between the elements okay this way then after this again i will display i'll display descending order okay i'll display descending order and in this descending order i'll again use for loop but at this time i'll use int i equal to n minus 1 semicolon i greater than equal to 0 semicolon i minus minus this i will use here and inside this i will print r of i so that way and then i will get a new line character fashion so this way we have printed ascending order and descending order here you can see for descending order just we have to reverse it ascending list into uh, into reversing or reverse order that we can do with the help of n minus one we'll start from n minus one and we'll go up to equal to 
save okay that we will do now so now we'll compile this program because we have done with the program now so we'll compile it okay so nothing happens okay no error and now we'll run it so it is asking for enter the size of integer array so i'll enter four size and i'll now it is asking for the elements of integer array so i'll enter three two five one and then i will press enter now you can see that it is showing sorted integer array that is one two three five and then is it is in ascending order and now it is in descending order that is five three two one okay so now it is asking for the uh, size of float array so i'll again enter five size enter now it is asking for elements of float array so i'll enter 4.2 1.3 8.3 and then 2.5 okay so one thing okay okay sorted float array there is one mistake here what mistake that is we have done here mistake that is not used float data type here okay now i will compile it again okay now i'll again compile it and i'll run it so enter the size of integer array 4 so 2 1 7 3 you can see ascending order descending order of 5 float array size and float array elements now i'll, I'll enter 4.3 1.4 suppose 5.3 and then 2.1 oh one element is remaining now 6.8 now now you can see the sorted float array in ascending order and in descending order here so this way you can do the program by using function template here for selection sort so if you are having any doubt regarding this assignment please post your comments so thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe my channel goodbye